Hello everyone and welcome to Veteran Gaming. I am Aaron and today we're going to talk about Star Wars Galaxy of Heroes and specifically mods. No. No. Yes. No. 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 We have to. No! No! Look, you can be upset if you want, but it's a really important part of the game. It's probably more important than Zeta's really. You have to get your modding down, otherwise you're going to get beat, okay? So we're just going to get through this, all right? <laughs> all right, guys. So here we go. I'm going to pull up our uh, mods here. This is a free-to-play account. I only have free-to-play accounts. I have two of them. Uh, this one's sitting at 4.39 million GP. So I'm going to pull up my little demo here. I, I outfitted Savage with some mods here so we can look at them. All right, so the first and most basic concept of the mods that we're gonna wanna deal with is you only want five dot mods, okay? Don't even mess with four dots. Don't waste your materials on them. Don't waste your time farming them. Five dot mods, okay? Once you have your five dot mods, they're gonna come in several different colors here. And as you can see, as I click through them, I'll go slower. We have all four secondary stats. Then we have three. Then we have two. And then we have our grays that have none, okay? So here's how this work. Obviously, these are fully revealed. So when we upgrade them, we're just going to get rolls, okay? So I'll go through it slowly. So there, we got one roll of five speed. That's basically best case scenario. That was an awesome, that was an awesome roll, okay? So if we go up to six, we're going to get another roll. So every three, you get another roll. There we go. We got health percentage. Up nine, that's going to show us straight offense, 12, and then all the way up just takes your primary stat. It doesn't take any of these, okay? So you see these numbers in the parentheses right here? These are your rolls per stat. It can go up to five, okay? So if you get nothing on speed, nothing on health, nothing on health percentage, but everything on offense, that's that's just the way it rolled, okay? There's a lot of luck that comes into these mods, all right? So that's for that specific color of mod, all right? Then if you want to upgrade them further, you can. Your character has to be gear 12, so we're not really going to get into that. The one thing I will say about it is, for me personally, speed is king in this game. So if that mod isn't at 15 on the speed, I'm not going to slice it any higher. I'm not going to put resources into that mod because I'm free to play. So I don't have, I'm not just coming up with resources left and right. Okay. I have to be kind of picky on where I spend them. So if it doesn't have 15 on the secondary, the vast amount of the time I'm not messing with it. Okay. So here we go. Here's our next color. So the first three, instead of getting a roll on one of those secondaries is going to give me my final secondary. So boom, there you go. Now we got protection, okay? And since I know that I keep all speed mods just to see what they do in the secondary, I'm gonna go ahead and put it all the way up. See there, we didn't get lucky at all. Our speed stayed at four. We got some potency, some offense, no speed. So I'm sure you guys can see where this is going. Our next color, we gotta take it all the way up to six to see what we're gonna do or what we're gonna get as our secondary stats. Okay, so for me personally, and I made a guide on this um, that you guys can check out on the channel also. But for me, this is this is a dead mod to me, okay? Because it didn't get a secondary stat of speed. So I am going to sell that mod. But to continue the demo, all the way down to grays here, you got to take it all the way up to 12. Once you upgrade that, it'll show you all your secondaries. Again, no secondary speed there. So that's a dead mod. Again, there are obviously other examples for tanks and stuff. Like on Malik, I don't care if Malik has speed. There are there are certain characters out there that don't need speed. But I'm just giving a, a broad shot here of uh, general mod theory. So we're just going to stick with if it doesn't have speed there, it's a dead mod to me. Okay? So here we have some other arrows are obviously different because arrows are the only ones that will get speed primaries. So you're always going to get your speed up there when you upgrade them all the way. This one has speed four, so we'll check that one out real quick. Worst, terrible luck. No speed at all. Okay. So if I had this on a gear 12 character and I wanted to slice this mod higher, can I get speed? Absolutely. But you can only get so many rolls. So if you're not getting speed on them, 
you're not going to get that top end speed. And, you know, the best speed mods are coming out 22, 23, 24. So you really want to get your speeds up in that range to invest those kind of materials in them. Okay. Uh, another quick reminder, all of your square shapes here are going to have a primary stat of offense. That will never change. All of your diamond shapes here will have primary stat of defense. So that's never going to change. Um, your arrows are going to have something a little bit different than your, your triangles, your crosses, your circles. Okay. So your primary stats are obviously going to be the most important thing, especially when you get to a specific character. I'll just show you gas real quick. Okay. If you don't have gas, if you don't know anything about him, he, he sits down and, and has a hard think if he runs out of protection. So we want him to stay up. We want him to stay in the fight. So we want him to have lots of protection. So every single mod I can has a protection stat on it, okay? And theoretically, you're gonna want, like right here, I have bonus protection as the secondary there. Here I don't, I need to work on that. I probably just threw this in there because there's a 22 speed on it, which is which is great, okay? So, unless you have a specific character with specific needs like that, you're gonna want your speed on your arrow. And again, I'm trying to speak in generalities because I can't sit here and say a single mod method is gonna work for every character. This is an overarching general method that's gonna work for a lot of characters. So that's what I'm gonna to try to present because it, be, it would be way too much to sit down and try to make a video or a guide for every single character because they can be modded so many different ways to be effective with different teams. So this is, again, just a really general guide. And two more things I want to highlight real quickly. So obviously here you have your tenacity mods, your health mods, your speed mods, all that kind of stuff. And right here at the bottom, it'll tell you what set bonuses you're currently getting. Some of them take two to get a set bonus. Some of them take four to get a set bonus. And I personally have a hard time remembering, but a little reminder clue, if you click on the bonuses down here, it'll tell you what bonus you're getting and what higher bonus you get if you have your mods at level 15, but also over here, it'll show you required. So you know exactly how many mods of that type you need to get the bonus. So you need four speed, four offense, four crit damage, the rest of them just take two. So a nice little reminder for you guys there in case you forget, like I do, I forget all the time. And the last little tidbit I'll leave with you guys is just a reminder that on these secondary stats, so on this one right here, you have offense, straight offense, plus 94. But over here, you have plus 0.94% offense, okay? In general, percentage bonuses are going to be better because unless your character is very low level, once they get to a higher level, you're gonna get a higher percentage bonus than you will a straight bonus. Um, so you'll see that on offense, you'll see that on defense. Uh, health is another one, like right here plus 348 health or plus 0.9% health. If you got that on a tank or somebody that's got a lot of health on them already, that percentage is going to end up being way better. So on your secondary stats, this one right here is actually a perfect example. You got percentage tenacity, percentage potency, percentage health, and percentage protection. That's a phenomenal mod, okay? You're going to want those percentages as opposed to your base stats. So that's a general guide to modding, okay? Very basic level intro stuff, just if you're new to modding. But again, I need to stress, mods are so important, especially for teams like Imperial Troopers. I mean, if you have your Imperial Troopers with high speed, they're gonna get out there, they're gonna attack. The other team's never even gonna get a shot at it, okay? It doesn't matter if they have all their Zaders or whatever, if they have decent mods. If you have better mods and your speed's high and you're gonna go first, they're gonna walk all over them. And that's the way it works for a lot of teams out there, okay? So make sure your characters are modded right. It's gonna give you a bigger bonus than even some Zetas. I'm not gonna say it's Omicron level, but you're gonna have giant bonuses, okay? So guys, make sure you're paying attention to your mods, farm your mods, farm your mod materials, and you'll be set. If you have any questions, comments, or concerns about modding or any other issues with Star Wars Galaxy of Heroes, if you'd like to see a special video, let me know in the comments section down below. And also, please subscribe to the channel. And if you like the content, click the thumbs up. It's just a couple of clicks for you guys, but it's potentially life-changing for me. So if you could, help me out with that, and good luck.